So welcome back. We're going to do pump changeover, but we're going to do the pump changeover using days rather than one times. Someone mentioned in the comments um, on one of the videos that I did because we were using one time. And he asked how we could do it using days. So currently I've set this to just one day. So this pump, which is currently on pump one, will change over after one day. I've set a daily trigger on this one to be 9 a.m. in the morning. So there we've got the 9 a.m. I mean, if I wanted to change that, I could say put 10 a.m. there and add that and then remove that 9 a.m. and save it. And now it's set to 10 a.m. For your daily triggers, uh, you want to go into your scheduler palette, so if you need to bring one of them across, so just search for scheduler, there we've got it there, and there's a, the daily trigger one, there. Easy to set up, once you click into it, just add one, call it whatever you want, like changeover, any weekday, any day, any month and any year go okay and then we put a time in there let's do this at 11 a.m. in the morning add that 11 a.m. there save that and then come back out and that's the trigger schedule every day at 11 a.m. so that was easy to do we've got a single shot timer here if you don't know where the single shot timer is it's uh, kit control and go to your timers and you've got a one shot there drag that across and then I normally I set that to something like two seconds I'll take out that zero zero or one second save and then when I fire that actions fire that out goes to true for two seconds this one set for 2.5 seconds I, I just didn't delete the the default 500 half a second 500 milliseconds then from there we have a counter so to get your counter utilities and this is your counter and then I'm just going to expose the preset in so right click pin slots preset in and I'll expose preset value so it's exactly the same as that and then you would take your one shot so that you're firing to your counter up so we get to get rid of that one then we've got an equal so in the logic again kick control that's your equal block exactly the same as that one now I've just added information in there instead of the in A and in B and how you do that is view AX slot sheet and then in there I can put info1 info2 and you can see that's in there now so we delete that so we've got our daily trigger at 10 o'clock we fire a one shot on our daily trigger we count up preset value is zero preset in is false what this does this resets the counter and depending on the days I mean at the moment we've got it set to one day and then I double that so I put an add block in there your add block is in your maths folder add block there's your add block and all I've done is take it from there into there it, it, it could go if I delete that it doesn't have to go that way it could go from there into there so you just add in an extra one to it which then that output goes to the change this basically resets the staging so we need that in that and it's got to be an equal to don't do a equal um, 
uh, greater than and equal to or less than equal it must be an exact equal to this one depends uh, this basically changes the pump so when that equals that value from that stage equals one greater than or equal to then that will change I, I haven't made it that complex. The reason I've done it like this is so that you can change your days. So a client may say, oh, I want it changing over one day. Then he may want to change it and he may, well, i tell you what, I want that changing over every three days now, or I want that changing over four days or five days. So that's the reason why I've given the set point. And you can just set that to whatever you want, two days. Now, if you've noticed, when I right-click that and go Views, um, I've got, um, sorry, Actions. See this Emergency Override, Emergency Auto, Override, Auto, and Set. Well, you don't want the client to use any of these four. You only want them to use a set. So how you would stop them from doing that is you right-click that, Views, AX Slot Sheet, go down to the emergency override and auto so press the shift button on your keyboard highlight over the auto so you're highlighting them all right click configure the flags and hide them and go ok so now they're all hidden so when we go back to it again now right click actions you've only got the set button so you can only use the set button on his dashboard and then he can set it to what, whatever days he wants. So let's put this in action. So let's just set it to one day at the moment. Let's just reset these. You don't need to do that. I'm just resetting them because we can. I mean, I'm, I'm going to fire a one day. So at 10 o'clock on the 14th, but I'm going to mimic that. Actions, fire. So we're now using pump two. We're only one day, pump two. So the following day, that should change to pump one. Actions, fire. That's now changed back to pump one. The next day, actions, fire. Pump two. So that's every two days. Actions, fire, pump one. So we're changing it now to set it for every two days. So that was every one day. So now we're gonna set it for every two days actions fire we're still pump one actions fire we're now at pump two so that's one day at pump two actions fire still pump two actions fire now we're back to pump one again actions fire the next day still pump one actions fire now we're back to pump two again. So that's a two day changeover. So let's set this to a three day changeover. Actions fire day one for pump two. Actions fire. Day two for pump two. Actions fire. Day three for pump two. So day four, we need to be changing to pump one. There we got pump one. Actions fire still second day pump one actions fire third day pump one actions fire we should be pump two and now we're pump two and so on let's just do one for seven days so we're changing weekly basically actions fire let's just get it to a change it first and then we can count after Okay, so first day, pump two. Second day, still pump two. Third day, still pump two. Fourth day, pump two. See this climbing up here? Pump two, fifth day. Sixth day. Seventh day. Now when you get to the eighth day is going to go to pump one because that counter is going to go to 14 
and then that's going to go through and it's going to reset it and start it all over again there we go pump one and now that will run for seven days so it's important that you have this counter you have this equal that's very important it's got to be an equal you've got your add so you're duplicating basically the days which is going into this changeover times by two and then you've got your pump rotate which you, you've, you're picking up the days that doesn't have to be there that can come from exactly there I just brought it from there because it was easier and then you've got your pump rotate command there to switch over the pumps I think that's made it quite simple let's just uh, tidy up the logic a bit because I prefer it to be don't want that there I prefer to take that and put that into there and I prefer to take that and put that into there it just makes it a little bit neater for me so you can change your set point your days via this this automatically triggers at whatever time you want it to trigger we've set it at 10 a.m. fires this counts up this when this gets to the days times by two it will then reset this counter this will count it will look at the days that you've programmed in there and then when it's greater than or equal to seven it will then change that over I think that's about it so that's one nice little block that you can have delete that for pumps rotate command and then you can just add that into your pump rotating logic so how would you want to do that uh, if you was to put that into your pump rotate logic so we'd have a pump one there for example actions we set that to false we'll take out the in 16 just to keep it nice neat and tidy and we'll probably put a run time on that as well so if I go into my rotation folder pump one and let's go and get a run time extensions discrete totalizer bring that across and we'll expose them so right click that and we want to composite it and we we'll bring in the elapsed time active and we can bring in the uh, change of state count if we want to if we want the numeric we can bring that in and we'll do the resets so there's quite a few things there it elapsed time active there elapsed time numeric and then resets so that's pump one done duplicate it to pump two we don't have to do it all again and then you've still got all your hard wires to do for your your, your, your fault for your pump your health, pump healthy flow commands everything like that but what we'll just do here is we'll just stick in an, um, an AND gate and the first one's going to be an enable so let's just uh, new boolean writable enable to enable the pump and again I take out 16 I'll just set that to true for now so something's enabled the pump externally we're into there and then we'll use that into there so that's false for that one rename that and we'll do um, pump 2 because it's pump 2 already exists of course it does rename pump underscore 2 duplicate that 
point one put that in there and put that in we want a not gate in there now take that put that into there so it's taking that false signal putting it into true so there's our pump one command and there's our pump two command just to make life a little bit easier I'm going to take that take that out of there and just put it into there So there's our commands to start our pumps. So we've got on our enable, so the pumps required to run on a time clock or something else is running and it requires that pump to run. So that's our enable command. And we're currently running on pump one. Let's just change the facets of that. We'll put it to enable, disable. Save that and we'll just copy that across there. So pump one's running, it's been running for one minute. Change the state once. So let's just change this to so I ain't got to go through seven bloody days. Let's change it to just two days. And we fire it. Pump one is still running. Fire again. Now we're on pump two. Fire again. Second day on pump two. Fire again. Now we're on pump one again. Fire again. Second day on pump one. Fire again. Now we're back to pump two. Naturally, you put your rest of your logic in there with your pumps logic, but that bit here is your firing or changing your your pumps rotation using a daily. I think that would do for now. If you can uh, press subscribe and tick the bell or whatever it's called, and uh, for any future updates. Thank you for watching.